Hey guys, we are on our way to Custom Tire here in Quartzsite because the other day, I would say three or four days ago, I had a a flat. It popped my tire, one of the rocks. This has happened before on our way to the Desert Barn Grill in near Parker. But this time, it's a different tire and I know I'm going to have to get a, a new tire because the first time this happened, it was the same thing. It's like a V-cut and it was right in the middle and I, they couldn't patch it. So I'm gonna see what they can do. They'll probably, like I said, have to uh, put a new tire on it, which is gonna cost me over 150 or so, at least. Because I know the tire itself is 140 and it's just another, another setback. So I have that to deal with and I've just been kind of on the down low for two or three days just because of this incident and not just because of the incident. It's a little overwhelming um, at the meetings uh, people um, talking a lot during the meetings and stuff it's hard to hear what they're saying and hard for me to follow um, all of the like seminar stuff because it's just a huge huge group of people just a lot of people and I love people don't get me wrong it's just I'm always stuck in the back because I can't get there early enough because even if you get there 30 minutes early you're still not in the front if that makes sense <laughs> because people for some reason the people that camp up over there near the main um, the main fire pit and the main um, seminar and workshop area like where the meetups are and stuff and the meet and greets it's hard to get a front row seat by any means now yesterday we went to the Bob um, meet and greet uh, it was the last day of his meet and greet actually I think they're having one today with he and Carolyn so that'll be fun if I can even get over there but we did that, and in the meantime, I've been wondering where am I going to get my tire done because you know these small towns probably charge a fortune to get stuff done. Well, also my check engine light is on, so they're going to probably diagnose what's wrong with it, and I don't, they're a tire shop, so probably they cannot fix it. What is this guy doing? He's backing into me. Okay. Doesn't know how to drive a standard, apparently. So anyway, um, I'm gonna, I haven't been posting my daily uh, RTR videos. I think I've been posting pretty much every day, but I haven't been doing like day one, day two, day three, like in a sequence because I just didn't go to meetings for like two or three days um, or seminars. So I skipped a couple days. I was on hiatus. No, I wasn't really, but I was a little bit in my shell. Um, which I'm normally not in the show, but you know, when times like these uh, happen, like when you, when you have a setback, like a tire blowing or something like that, it just looks like uh, I gotta do that. But I'm just gonna post this real quick and let you know what's going on. And we're gonna go get the tire fixed. And as soon as that's done, I'm gonna post this and um, see how we make out with that situation. So we're gonna, and I'll show you once we get there, I'll show you the tire. I'll show you my um, spare that we have had on and thank you to my husband and whoever helped him there was a, there were a few people who helped him um, change that tire and everything so thank you to you guys who helped I think one guy's name was Jose he's really nice he's we've seen him over at the the acoustic circle the, the music acoustic circle with the drums and the guitars and stuff which we hang out every now and then over there and that's a real fun group of people and then um, yeah we'll see about getting the tire shop and stuff and I'll let you know how that goes also in the end so we'll see you on the flip side so here's our little donut that we have on and I'm gonna go ahead and pull in here and see if they can get to me Hello, um, I called about a tire. Where do I pull my vehicle in to... I have a donut on there now. Did they tell you anything up front yet? Uh, I didn't go in yet. I would go in and talk to talk to Sid and see where he wants it. Sid okay. or David. Okay, thank okay. you. Thank you. Custom Tire Center. Hello. 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 Hello
slow. Uh, I called about getting a tire. It was a 225, 65 something. something yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I have this town and country here. Can you help me? Yeah. Okay. So we're just waiting uh, over here. We, cr we crossed over the um, main street to come look at this Blag's place. And our van is over there. So we're just waiting. He said it would be 45 minutes. I don't know if that means total or before they can even look at it. So we're just going to mess around here and look at all this cool material and see if there's anything that might go in our RV for covering. Ooh, this would be nice for like covering the back, the back part where the, where it folds down. If I can find the right colors, really pretty colors. So loud out here. That's the one thing that's difficult out here is there's so much traffic right off the road. Oh, they have a nice big tent full of stuff. Oh, hi puppy. Hi puppy. Oh, aren't you beautiful? You might have a hat somewhere, like a lady's hat. Somewhere they do in this town, because I know that some people have bought some. Look how pretty. Look at the beautiful fountain. I like the sound of it. It's relaxing. Solar butterflies, beautiful. Hi, giraffe. And that one had bird seed in it. Yes. <laughs> yep, from them feeding the birds. Yes. <laughs> Aww. Look at all the beautiful flowers. Again, on this side, you can see them. Look at the butterfly. He's just going crazy. This is cool. Hand painted. Beautiful artwork. Look at the hammock. There's our dirty van and it looks like they got a, I don't know if that's the same tire or it looks like a new one. <laughs> our other one was, uh, had a big gash in it. So now we just have to okay, find out the damage. What we owe. So I was just talking with somebody yesterday about Toyo tires and they said they're like the best. So that's what they put on here. Just as a coincidence, they put this, uh, it's a 225-65R17, and uh, that's what I told them I needed, and they had the Toyo, so they just put that one on there and got me all fixed up. So now we have to go another day, probably, uh, to Blythe, because that's where the places that he recommended I go for my O2 sensor that is making my engine light go on, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Barely, can you see that? orange thing here and that's the um, engine light so I'll have to call I'll actually call the place and, and make an appointment and do that a different day before we leave the RTR hi guys we did have to get a new tire at custom tire center and Aubrey's back there with her doll we've been running around and making videos for her little doll channel and we have been um, looking at that kite place in Quartzsite, which is kind of a cool place. I got some bags and stuff. So we're now getting some gas and then we're going to head on back to base camp at the RTR. Ran 
to our buddy Wayne and Gio and they're working out here selling some merchandise so we're just gonna head on to one of these outdoor tent grocery stores which is supposed to be really cool and convenient so you don't have to go like into a real grocery store and waste two hours in there looking for what you need you just kind of get what you need and get out so I haven't been here before but I'm looking forward to buying a few things in here. Near how bumpy this road is, it's a really bad road going into the RTR, but we could not find the grocery store, the one that in the tent, so I'm going to have to go back another time and do that. I'm ready to get back home, so we'll see you in our next video. Thanks for watching.